Hi. When it comes to water, we have a lot of mismanagement. Many people around the world rely on bottled water and that makes it very, very expensive. And often the need for bottled water is coming from mismanagement of the local water supply, the community water supply. And uh, many of the smaller cities, smaller towns don't really have all the expertise to, to make proper management of their water. And uh, very often the only thing that is really pushed is something like a membrane technology. So if you want to buy membranes, there will be people to offer some solutions. So it would be a membrane system uh, with very, very fine filtration uh, as an example, uh, because that's a market. So uh, people will deal with that. But very often uh, the first step would be to make simple solutions and that would be to start with bank filtration. So if surface water from a river is taken, not to take the water out of the flowing water where it's often uh, polluted, uh, but to bore uh, wells uh, alongside the banks of the uh, river and then you have a uh, well, almost uh, cost-free um, pretreatment, that is pretty good already. And the other thing is that one of the best treatment technologies in uh, drinking water from raw water, be it uh, groundwater or uh, surface water, uh, is uh, slow sand filtration. And that's also something where there is not, not a big marketing. And yeah, technical solutions uh, have their place, but first you need to do the basic steps to assure regeneration of water and everything. And so we found nothing where all this is explained in a, a simple way. So we have developed a decision support system, DSS, on water. We've done this at uh, Hamburg uh, University of Technology in northern Germany. And uh, this system is free of charge. You can use it and it is built on uh, questionnaires of the situation. And I will briefly go through it. Uh, the link uh, where you find this is, uh, well, clean water, living soil, because that's, uh, well, where the connection is. Cleanwaterlivingsoils.com. And um, yeah, you will be led through all the different um, well parts that have to be considered. So this is how the um, system looks if you open it. And it is looking at irrigation methods, treatment options, rainwater harvesting and quality assessment. And uh, most um, yeah, most people jump into treatment options before looking at reducing the water demand. And that is mainly in irrigation because a lot of water is wasted there. And then once again, people often don't know that they can implement rainwater harvesting. So recharging their water with like means in, uh, in the catchment area of the water. Catchment would be the area where the water is refilled, the groundwater is recharged, but only also rivers need to be recharged and groundwater uh, and river water need to be uh, getting the rain that falls down and this rain should go into the ground and that needs some support sometimes. And then there is something about quality assessment. So the first thing is about the irrigation methods. And uh, that is where uh, a huge quantity of water is used for irrigation. And especially in irrigation, there are many ways to, on one hand, reduce water demand drastically. <clears throat> and on the other hand, to, uh, to, to encourage farmers to get away from 
uh, very thirsty plants like uh, cotton and, and some others. And uh, so these things are uh, considered here in this system. Then we come to the treatment options. And as I said, uh, it is about first doing the very cheap, reliable things that are coming from good engineering. So we are water professionals here in uh, this institute. And so we know that instead of taking dirty river water, you would make uh, bank filtration alongside the river uh, to have pre-treated water. And uh, then you can, uh, depending on the quality of the water, you could be using slow sand filtration. It's also relatively cheap and easy to maintain and doesn't really have uh, a lot of energy demand. If you have a gradient in the ground, you don't need any external energy anyway. And then for the treatment options, of course, you will come to the membrane technology and uh, all these um, options that are more expensive. But you could also apply those just for supplying the water that is really for drinking. So having high tech like nanofiltration for that uh, and the rest of the water will go through slow sand filtration, make it safe, but maybe not clean enough for drinking. Yeah, the next um, part of the DSS uh, is the rainwater harvesting. Uh, many areas have like destroyed soils. The vegetation is not really uh, intact anymore. Agricultural practices often degrade the land. And then when the rain is falling, it often is not seeping into the ground. So the ground should be like a sponge, take up all the water. And uh, when that isn't happening, you will have floodings during the rain. Then the water through the flooding is flowing away, making a lot of damage in many cases. And then once the rain is over, a few weeks after you run into drought. So most of that is man-made and can be avoided. And one of the good ways is rainwater harvesting. And the easiest rainwater harvesting is to have like uh, agriculture with forest gardens, with regenerative agriculture, agroforestry, all that. But in many places that are degraded, very arid lands, you, you need to make like build swales uh, or to provide for infiltration. And then vegetation can grow back and more vegetation will make the soil like a sponge. Yeah, and then the section about quality assessment because you need to check your local drinking water for the community. So we are talking about community water supplies here, not so much individual supply. Uh, and so quality assessment is necessary and we are pointing out some of the methods, also low cost methods. Uh, the system is made relatively simple and we have a questionnaire for all the different aspects. And with that you get uh, to the different um, well, pages that will give you advice of what you can do in your specific situation. Yeah, hope this has uh, helped. And uh, if you're interested in this, um, well, open the system, cleanwaterlivingsoil.com. And uh, yeah, leave your comments below the video. We love to get in touch with you. And uh, one thing, those of you who are not really dealing with uh, drinking water supply on a community level, and that will be many of you, please forward this to people that would be interested in this. People working in administration, uh, people studying this subject, people interested in uh, the environment and the clean water supply, because this uh, information needs to be uh, spreading uh, for avoiding 
the many, many mistakes that are done. So as I said, there is hardly any system that goes from like looking at the catchment, looking at treatment options, including the very cheap ones up to rainwater harvesting and uh, quality assessment. So I'm glad we could develop this. It was a lot of effort and it's free for you and we don't sell anything so please feel free to to help um, get the message out thank you very much